Hello, I'm Ryan Dreyer. At PubMatch, part of our mission is to inform authors and publishers, as well as agents, of the benefits of foreign rights sales, not only as an evolving and thriving area of the publishing industry, but also as a potential revenue multiplier. Many publishing professionals around the world are finding that selling books in non-US and non-UK markets are a great complement to, and in some cases exceed, their initial domestic book sales. If you invest some time and energy learning about foreign rights and translation rights, you may experience the thrill of seeing your title or your publishing catalog or backlist reborn in other countries, languages, and in certain cases, in new formats altogether. Our message to our users is that this is an exciting time to get involved in the rights business and that PubMatch can be an invaluable tool along the way. Whether you're a publisher, agent, or author, you've no doubt learned by now that you're also a promoter of a product. Seeing your titles or your publishing catalog as assets means pursuing the maximum return on that investment. Foreign rights sales can be one of the more important and often overlooked avenues for rights holders to take, especially as writers and readers from around the world are finding one another with greater ease. Prioritizing foreign rights sales can generate additional revenue streams for your individual book, your catalog, or your backlist in other languages, territories, and markets. This can be a wonderful and cost-effective opportunity, as the costs associated with foreign rights tend to be borne by the foreign publisher. With potential advances in royalties coming from foreign publishers directly to you, foreign rights can mean new found money and new potential income streams. First, let's clarify what we mean by foreign rights and translation rights, as mentioned earlier. Foreign rights, to put it simply, is a process of granting permission to a foreign publisher to reprint, market, or distribute your book in either English or in English-speaking countries, or to translate into a foreign language and in non-English-speaking countries. Both tend to fall under the larger category of subsidiary rights or permissions that the author or publisher grants to um, another entity to produce a work beyond the original. And these can include audio, film, serializa serialization rights uh, for excerpting your book in a magazine or periodical, and many other types of rights. Um, to illustrate the subtle difference between foreign and translation rights, a book that's produced originally in the U.S. may or may not also be published in the U.K. and its territories. So an author would have an opportunity in that case to capitalize on book sales in a new territory within the same language community while retaining translation rights sales of that book into other languages, say from the English language into other Spanish language markets. We're often asked by authors and publishers whether foreign book sales endanger the copyright, and we want to assure you that they do not. As the, if you're an author, your copyright is protected. What you're doing is licensing or granting permission on a temporary basis for a specific version of your book to be published within a certain language or territory, and those rights will revert to you upon completion of the agreement. And this is entirely different from yielding or deferring your copyright in a work-for-hire arrangement. How do you know if you hold the subsidiary rights to your published book? Well, this will depend, uh, if you're an author, on whether or not you are traditionally published or independent. If traditionally published, check your agreement under both the Territory Clause as well as the Subsidiary Rights Clause. It's not unusual for publishers to retain subsidiary rights when publishing the original version. This can be an agreeable outcome as publishers may have the resources and overseas connections to sell, print, or market your book. As a rule of thumb, it's best to retain as many rights as possible, and you may consider pressing your publisher for rights to certain territories or languages, particularly if you feel that you're in a better position than your publisher to procure a deal in those markets. If independent or self-published, you may also have retained your subsidiary rights. That having been said, it never hurts to verify the conditions surrounding your subsidiary rights with whomever or whichever entity is printing your book. What are the components of a subsidiary rights deal? 
typically they include an upfront advance based on the initial print run against a set of royalties which are based on the retail cover or net price of the book. On PubMatch you'll also see a one-time flat rate option. You'll see a mention of the term of the agreement which typically lasts between one and five years as well as of the specific formats in which you're selling um, including print, ebook, audio, film, etc. And of course the country or territory of the subsidiary rights such as France or Germany, a uh, territory such as Latin America, as well as the languages in which you're selling, such as the Spanish language, German, French, etc. How much should I offer my subsidiary rights for? Unfortunately, there are no standards as to the amount you should ask for. Advances tend to vary from country to country. For instance, you might want to ask for higher advances in countries like the US, UK, Germany, France, and Spain, which are larger markets. Countries like India, China, and the Middle East will require a lower advance in most cases due to their lower local pricing of books. For common languages like English, Spanish, German, and Italian, be sure to specify the countries the title can be sold in. For example, you don't want to sell world-exclusive Spanish rights due to the large number of countries in which Spanish is spoken. Latin America, Mexico, Spain, and many others. As it can often be hard to find a foreign rights agent, having a basic familiarity with translation rights and foreign rights in general, uh, and as well as to manage one's foreign rights on one's own using PubMatch can be a very cost-effective, time-saving, and potentially profitable opportunity. In the past, identifying publishing opportunities abroad required the expertise of domestic agents, foreign co-agents in, in the specific territories and languages of interest, as well as publishers and translators. With tools like PubMatch, however, authors and publishers have never had a better opportunity to make the most of their international potential. With PubMatch, you can connect with licensees all over the world, conduct rights deals, and market your book or catalog on your own. In the next set of videos, we will show you how. Once again, we're thrilled to be working with our members, whether you are a publisher, author, or agent on your foreign rights journey. And now, John Malinowski will guide you through the basics of using the PubMatch platform. Thank you again for listening.